Positively Mark podcast show adult story time. Robert sighed as he finished up the last couple of notes, looking over at his lab partner Emily. The two of them had been through so much together, and Robert knew that she was a focal part of this time. At medical school, she stared at the brunette girl, making a smile on her, on her face as she finished her work. We did it, Robert. We did great, Robert. We sure did. Can't believe we got all this research done, he pointed out. Two of them had been working hard to finish their research, and Robert knew this was one of the last projects he would have to do. He saw that Emily was focused, pursing her lips at, at the point work. I'm going to be so damn happy once it's all over. He said, yeah, same, he replied. Robert pushed up his glasses, looking at Emily, who seemed to be focused on the work. She was super cute. A massive little brunette with glasses, small breasts, and a full butt. Robert did have a type, and she was the perfect kind. Her thin legs were often shown in the skirts he wore. Robert sometimes would steal a glimpse at them when they, they worked together. To say that Robert liked her was a bit of an understatement. He never had a girlfriend before, and honestly, Emily was his type. But she was so busy with med school and college, he never explored their feelings. Instead, opting to just ignore them as they came along. The sounds of heels wafted through the area, and then he turned around and he saw that his teacher, Mrs. Hendon, appeared. A busty, attractive woman that caught his eye. He knew she was a professor with two kid boys, a prime example of a single mum, pushing her way through the school in order to reap rewards. There you two are, she said. Yeah, we're here. What's the matter, he asked. She looked at the both of them, smiling. Seems both of you are very comfortable with the other. She teased. Robert blushed. He didn't like it when people pointed out that he liked her. He always felt like it was, it was embarrassing. It, but when he stared at the teacher, he spoke. You mean, yeah, I mean, she's a great partner. Someone that I'll be happy with, he told the teacher. Well, I'm glad you two have been quite the promising research project as well, he pointed out. Richard looked at the piece, nodding. I hope so. I hope so. Anyway, oh, wait, anyways, could you two possibly come with me? I need some help in the anatomy room, she offered. Robert had a strange feeling his teacher was smoking hot a black haired blasty bombshell. He liked, liked to stare in it, but in, case, in her case, he liked how dominant she was, how she was about motherly, almost motherly in a sense, probably because she had kids and what that mother instinct never went away. But there was something about the words she uttered that made him curious. And after he looked at Emily, she nodded. What's going? We should probably go, she said. What do, you, what do you need us for, though? He asked. Oh, I just have a lot of samples I want to take to the classroom for the next class. And you two are the only ones left, she pointed out. Great, so only called upon because he's a victim of circumstances. He turned to them and she nodded. Together they both followed the teacher out of, up there, heading towards the anatomy room. The anatomy room was near the research lab, a place that many people usually went if they needed to get chemicals and samples, beside, despite there being a lot of jars and variable, various animals and oils to suspect the room smelled great, and that's because all the other samples were kept in a cabinet so nobody could have smelled the stench. Robert was so fortunate to go to school, but they all gave a shit about the overall smell and sanity of, sanity of the students. So he made sure this room was taken care of. Robert followed Emily, but he noticed Mrs. Hendon or Curry, as she would have one them call, was staying behind. She looked at her, eagerly confused by this. Okay, what's going on? We'll see, just step on, she said. Robert was definitely a bit confused, but then he did so. He followed Emily all the way in, and that's when they heard the door close along the lock. He turned around and saw Curry was near the doorway. Uh, oh, won't we just in here to take get samples. You don't have to lock the door, he said pointedly. Oh, honey, that's where you're wrong, Carrie said. She came closer, a giant, no, a giant melons, immediately catching eye, Robert's eye. Emily was accused as well, but then Carrie stood in front of the two children and smiled, a smile on her face. You know, you may not know this, but both of you are my top students to class, she said. We are, Robert asked. 
Correct. I want to give you a two more rule. They are hard work, a sort of farewell present, if you may, he said. Robert pushed his glasses to his nose, his lanky body feeling awkward as he noticed his teacher's eyes practically fixated, fixated upon him. What in the world she's getting at? What she did plan on doing? What do you mean? he said, he asked her. Have you ever had sex, Robert? He looked at her wide eyes. What the fuck kind of question was that? He then blushed, turning away and then speaking. Nope. What was that? I can't hear you. Curry asked. I looked at Emily, who was almost red. She probably heard his answer, but didn't say a damn word. Hadn't, hadn't he finally admitted? I see. But what do you what about? What about you, Miss Emily? Ever done it? He asked. Emily then looked at Robert, embarrassed as so, Then she shook her head. I haven't either. Well, I just can't let two of my finest med students leave school without finding out the pleasures of the fl- flesh, right? Gary asked. Wait, you fucking serious? Robert asked. Of course I mean. I'll let you go. You to go at a time. You don't have to stay here. If you really don't want it, then I'll let you go. But Emily, I've noticed your daydreamy notes. You're having a date note notebook that most that you have successfully text your friends. Talk about how you like Robert. Robert I caught you staring at young shapely get legs. I know you desire her as well, Curry said. Holy shit is he should trying to hook him up. He looked, looked at Emily, who soon he was embarrassed and almost against this, but then she sighed. I guess the secret's going to come out eventually. Yeah, I like you, Robert. It's a long time. I know that Curry likes you as well. She plays favourites. We're both her favourites, Emily admitted. You got Emily, who was grinning like a treasure cat. The girl is perceptive. But yes, both of you have had my attention, and you're both quite attractive. So, what do you say? Do you want to maybe try? Harry asked. Robert took a look at Emily, and then he took a deep breath. Yes, I want to try this, he said. Emily looked at him, embarrassed by this. I want to as well, she replied. Perfect. We've got an agreement with both parties. I mean, it's either if you want to stop, you're always welcome, but please. It's obvious that Robert here is hard. He's not going to stop being hard any time soon, she said. She lightly pressed his crutch against his crutch, causing him to let out a hiss of pleasure. Emily looked at him with widened eyes. What's going on, she asked. You remember very protection, right, Emily? This man wants to have it. Kerry said, Fuck, the feeling of her foot in her mind against his cock was making him lose his mind. He didn't know what to do or how to respond. He was at the mercy of his sexy teacher, and the teacher was not stopping any phone. Soon, Emily had made, moved closer, lightly touching the very edges of her there. He let out a hiss, and then the teacher spoke. Look at him, he's really so turned on. Come on, Emily. Give him exactly what he wants. Look, Remy, Robert, look at Emily. Two of them stared at one, but Robert knew Emily was already starting to join this as well. He probably would start to indulge in the further a time went on. But now, but how far would she probably go? What level of pleasure would she be to obtain? He looked at Emily, and then, before he knew it, a soft lips upon his own, causing an intense up moan in pleasure. Of the near gave into his desires. He couldn't stop his teacher. Had him in the palm of her hands. Kerry watched as Robert and Emily started to kiss. Smirking as she sat on the table and watched the two of them make out. Robert didn't expect to enjoy this. He thought that it was his uh, hormones raging, but as he kissed Emily, he could tell she was enjoying it just as much as he was. He kissed him from a bit of force too. He reacted by pressing his lips on, his, on her, letting his own lips get his own lips get get the best of him. And soon, he started to push her tongue against the very edge of his mouth. Robert didn't believe this was real. He refused to believe it. Then he opened his mouth and felt it. He felt it as if it's some sort of heavenly place, a place that was anything like he could have imagined. It was unreal. It felt so good. He wanted nothing more than just to completely indulge in the pleasure he was doing going through. So he let his tongue 
mingled her and Zaya Quixi. Then he felt his body right, right up against her own, aching, need within him, driving him insane. You two know to know how to kiss very well. You two seem to know to kiss well very well. I said, circling her hands, not that far, letting them drape up. Robert caught a small glimpse of her pansies, immediately blushing as she realised he was checking out his teacher. Do you want to take it further? You two want to take it further, she asked. Robert felt his cock was making decisions here. If he wanted to hear what she said, he looked at Emma and it was blushing red, but soon she nodded. Yeah, I want to, she said. Good. This is perfect. Now, give her what she wants, Robert says. She said, Robert awkwardly touched her blouse, lightly pressing her hands there. He then moved it over to her body, causing her to get her small grass as the cold air hit her breasts. But Robert was surprised she didn't wear a bra. Then again, she was only beating cups. She could get away with it. Her small, perky breasts were adorable. And Robert felt his pants getting tighter, just staring at her. Like what you see there, Robert? Robert carried the reason. Yeah. He finally muttered, looking at her with wide eyes. Now, why don't you kiss her down her down her body, sweetie? Give her a little pleasure. Do it nice and slow. That's what these girls love, he said with a smirk. Robert looked at her, seeing the slight fear he was present of her face. She was scared at how this would play out, probably because it was a foreign situation, but I screamed that she wanted more. Soon before Robert knew it, he had pressed his lips to her neck, slightly kissing down her body, moving down her collarbone all the way to the apex of her small breasts. He didn't did like this, how tiny they were. She had a nice butt, so he wasn't complaining when they were small. He then moved his fingers over to the top of her, one of her nipples, lightly glazing his finger against there. The sound that she uttered immediately sent shivers down his spine. His cock grew erect at the sound he heard. He watched as she began to move about, letting out the smallest, more adorable sounds. He noticed as well that her nipples got hard from the tiniest of touches, making him blush as he could look as he looked at her. Play with her a bit more, Robert. I know you want to. Her cock is super your cock is super hard, but Perry said. It was true. He then moved his tongue onto the very edge of her nipple, teasing it there and watched as she arched her back, moaning out loud, fuck, she said, but that was the first time he heard her swear. He began to lightly play with her nipple against his lips, watched as she thrashed about and moaned in response. That was something so adorable about this, and Robert felt excited about what he saw, how, and saw how he spent, how spent she was, was just from his actions alone. Robert wanted more, though. He took the nipple in his mouth and sucked on it while he had had, his, had her nipple between his two fingers. He went and sent out a series of moans and yelps in response, and Robert, Robert looked over at Curry. Hands were at her pansy. Lightly teaching a clit through the fabric. Very good. Seems you've already learned quite a lot there, Robert. She agreed. Robert already felt his mind was blanking. That was sort of what. That was in some sort of heavenly place that made him want nothing more than to continue. He began to move down her body to an instinct, pushing her skirt up. Her skirt up. He saw the wet spot on her panties along with the heat that radiated from there. Do you want this? He asked Robert. Asked Robert. Yes, please, he said. Her hands were practically begging, for, her voice was practically begging for more. He then pushed his hands to each side of her panties, pulling the garments off. Very good, Robert. You see her pussy right there, she asked. It's very different from what he expected. He remembered seeing a whole wealth of health diagrams while in med school. But this was different. He moved his lips apart. Her lips apart, allowing his eyes to glaze down her small labia. He then she had a decent sized clip as he touched it. He heard a whimpering sound from her. Very good, Robert. You already found a clip. That's a magic show, she said. Robert blushed, immediately feeling a bit surprised at this, but then he started to tease it a bit more, licking at the flesh. He watched as he threw her head back, moaning in pleasure at the sight. He already losing himself, and Robert loved seeing every moment, single moment of this. Just look at her. She's really so turned on. I'm surprised she hasn't come yet. Carrie said he was surprised too. That's because usually I have some, something in me while I'm being teased. 
she said with a blush. Carrie laughed at the instant girl words. I see. Why don't you stick a finger in there, Robert? Once, once you get to come, you'll get a reward, Carrie offered. He looked at Emily with flushed red hot eyes. He pushed a finger into the entrance and noticing how tight and how hot it was. Immediately she moaned in pressure, thrusting her hips up to be as he began to push in deeper and deeper. A pussy was practically sucking his fingers in. He continued to push in and out, feeling the heat between pulled him deeper and deeper into the abyss. He loved it even more. He watched his second finger, enjoying the result that he got from this. He watched with rampant attention as Emily began to let out a series of little grunts and moans, enjoying the sensation that he provided for her. Then he started to push in a third, watching her as she arched her back. She was close, he could tell. He then pushed his lips to the very tip of her clit, Enjoying the sensation this, and that's when she felt it. She cried out, arching her back, and soon she released the liquid, hitting Robert's hand. He was surprised at this, but then he pulled back and tasted it. He realised it was pretty good. You like the taste of her, Robert? Curry asked. Her blush, Robert nodded. She looks pretty happy as well. Robert looked over, seeing the flushed, satisfied smile on his face. Namely, would you should replay Robert for his hard work. Do you want to learn about a male anatomy as well? Robert Curry asked. Emily looked at Robert, blushing as she looked, looked, moved closer. Robert then tense, wondering what she was about to do. No under his pants, dear. I'm sure you already felt his surprise. Robert Curry said, Robert immediately tense as he felt she, as he felt her hands against the cock, grunting in response. He watched as she unzipped him, pulling the button apart as well. She slowly moved his pants. Feeling out alone with his cock against the boxes. Wow, he's a bug guy, Curry said. Robert had, did have a bigger than average dick, but it wasn't so big that it didn't hurt anyone. He watched as he moved a hand fervently to the waistband. Feeling nervous. Don't worry, but you're doing great, he said. He said. Thanks, Robert, she replied, giving him a peck on the lips. He watched as he pulled his box down, revealing his hard, aching member. Robert looked over, seeing Crary's throbbing, sobbing my panties on the ground and fingers on her clit. That's right, Emily, that's his cock now. You want to make him sure, make him see stars, focus on the tip, said Robert, but looked at his member, then she moved to the forwards, lightly touching her lip, the tip of her mouth, she kissed it. Robert immediately hissed in pleasure. She moved her lips down, taking the head in her mouth. She soon, he moved about halfway down his cock. She couldn't take him all the way in, but she did an amazing job. You're very good, Emily. Now wrap your hands around his base of his cock and start to move them around at the same time. Carrie instructed. Emily was red as a tomato at this point, but she didn't, didn't stop. She took his cock down her throat, lightly moving her hand in the time of actions. The result was astonishing. Robert immediately groaned, feeling as if he was losing his mind with every single motion. You did it so well, Emily. Now grip it a bit tighter. So he, if he likes that, see if he likes that. Okay, so at this point, she had baby with faggot and she started fingering herself to the scene. Robert thought he was hot as hell when the teacher was getting off on this. He looked at Emily, whose eyes were widening with all the she was taking down her throat he groaned tensely slightly as he could feel his urge to come grow he didn't want to do it yet he was so aroused over he didn't but damn hot to not to come he looked at her and then after three seconds she pulled back good girl don't 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 let him come yet that's for later she said robert really felt his head felt growing fuzzy her mouth felt down good he wanted nothing more than just release but then curry came over Look at him with a smile. So, my dear, would you like, would you, would you like him to do you first? He looked at Emily, seeing the right slate. Fear eyes. Yes, I like, want this. I want to know what I like. She said. Robert felt his cock throb at these words. He'd been waiting for a moment like this. She moved towards the desk, laying out, spreading out. Robert came over, looking at her, saying, "Are you in the pill? Yeah, I use it for periods, but." 
helps here too, she said. Good girl, I don't even make, didn't have to bring out the condoms then, Carrie said. Carrie looked at her, seeing the slight nervousness on her face. He fed her apart, pushing his cock against her interest. I'll take it slow, don't worry, she said. Okay. Robert braced himself against holding his hands at the tips and sliding all the way in. As soon as he did that, a warm, succulent heat was immediately filled him and knew it. that was then. He groaned, pushing as steep as he could. He barely heard a scream with, from Emily as he slipped all the way into a relishing the feeling of a tight, warm pussy. Holy shit, he said to himself, fuck. She said out loud, good girl, see that it wasn't bad, Kerry teased. Kerry felt as if he was being sucked in, he couldn't stop, and once he was all the way in, he looked over at Emily, seeing the slight tears in her face, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get so careless, he said. Fine, Robert, you're just doing what you had to do, right? Yeah, I was, he replied. He wanted a minute to use, be, get used to this, then he started to move, the heat of all this was driving him nuts. Felt Emily trying to shiver, whimpering with pleasure at the sensation he was feeling. Carrie was moving two fingers in the pussy, ugling the scene. There you go, just like that, she said. Robert continued to jerk his hips, looking at Emily instead of tears. She looked at sort of street severity in the face. Oh, fuck, I'm oh, close, he cried out. Robert could feel it too. He didn't want to stop. Okay, sweetie, you can in her for. First time, I'm sure that you have more, you have energy even more. Kerry said behind him, despite her ear. Dear, he moaned as the teacher started to lightly simulate his neck. He didn't know what was there, but a curved body, luscious breast, and female scent overtook him. And for a moment, he forgot that his cock was balls. Deep into another girl, this is until he felt her tense up, hold on to this, and cry out loud. Fuck, she said. He came hard hard, thrashing about, and immediately passing out of orgasm, overtook her. Robert was almost there, but she, she then passed out. He felt his desire to come start to the elevate, elevate. Holy fuck, that was good, he said. You want more of my honey? You can always take, always take, take me, Carrie said. She moved so that her body was against the desk, but her backside was facing Robert. She took her panties off, put her skin was still on. She slipped her hands up, pulling it over so that she could see her pussy along her fat butt. Your ass looks nice, he said. Oh yes, I did squats, you know. Obviously you get genetics, she said. Robert was not paying much attention to her words. He said pushed her all, all the way inside of her, causing her to groan. She moaned as well as soon. He felt like he was being sucked into a tight heat once more. This was different from Emily. Emily was tight, almost too tight. Or Carrie was tight as well, but it was a different feeling. Oh yes, I miss this. He said, Carrie held herself at the desk as Robert continued. It sounds as their breathing immediately made him grow harder. He wanted nothing more than this to happen. He felt as if he was about to explode. Then, just as he was about to come once more, he heard a knock on the door. Fuck, who is it? He asked, why don't you go out and find out? He replied, two of them moved with a cock still buried inside of her. He felt like he was losing his mind. He felt the tight heat practically suck him in. She marched over to the door, she, her skirt all the way down, and looked. And soon he looked at her, and then she opened the door. Oh, hi there, Dr. Dobb, she said. Fuck, what's Dr. Do? The dean of school. He felt like he was, was going to come in the minutes. Hey there, Kerry. Someone said they heard a small scream. So I think, okay. Oh, yes, just peachy in my head, sir. I actually ended up accidentally hurting myself. You know, time shall be right, she replied, smiling at him. Dean looked her over, I ain't everything ever that she said. And said I see. Oh, well, he said, nothing happened. I was trying to grab something from the cupboard. Yeah, the box fell on my foot. It was quite painful, she said. Uh, Dean looked through the book, tried to look through the door, but Carrie, thick body, managed to hide everything. I see. Well, very well then. I'll leave you alone. I hope you're okay. If you need to see the nurse for garden, indeed, he replied. Will do. 
He, she, he closed the door and then for his side and relief. Fuck, that was close, he said. You almost messed up there, eh, Robert said. Oh, yeah, but you kept fu- well, you kept fucking me, so you did pretty well. I'm happy your clock didn't go soft on me during that. Seems like you like the feel of being caught, he said. It was a small sound. Robert looked over at Emily. She was coming too, and we did him very smell. I want you to keep on taking me. I'll give it, I'm going to give this princess one little present, she said. Robert looked at her. She moved, and he couldn't stop basking in the tight heat. He moved over to where Emily was, and she tight, tight, who was tightened awake. In fact, she said, "You, you, you good there, Miss Princess?" She said, "Yes." He said, "Well, how about I give you a little extra treat?" She offered. Carrie looked, took, looked at Carrie immediately. Emily grew curious. Carrie moved to her face that was between Emily's eyes, and Emily looked, looked at her with confusion. "What are you? Don't worry." I'll make sure you enjoy this, she said. Emily looked at Carrie, a bit of confusion, but then she felt Carrie caress her lips on the clip, kissing it. Oh, I'm going to make you see stars, she said to Emily. Emily looked at her, her eyes practically boggling at the sensation of this. She began to feel Carrie push her tongue against the clip, lifting and teasing all the time all the, over Carrie's approach at this, and Emily was holding her head, shivering in appreciation. This is so good, she said. I told you you'd like it. I'm pretty good with my tongue back in the college. I love making all the girls go wild, she said. Robert moaned at the sight of Curry eating coming out, Emily out. This is Emily's first time, and Curry seemed to know exactly where to lick. And each time, every single motion Robert watched as Emily both whimpered. Curry pulled away, turning to Robert with a smile. Don't just oogle, move your hips. I want you to use your your cock to make me come, sweetie, she said. Robert Bashby did as he told, moving his hips at a lightning pace. He moved as watched as Carrie began to put moan to over. And his clutch that Emily felt the effects of it. Started to move her hands towards the older man's elbow over his head, pushing her further down, going further down. Keep going, the erotic sight was getting Robert closer to the edge. His hands moved towards Chloe's kit. Like she showed him what Emily before, then he began to rub it. The sounds that came out from it carried the vine. Soon he started to move, she started to move her hips. All after eating Emily out, she was fine. Like, uh, all while eating Emily out, Roger, like, like she was fine to our dinner. A few then continued to utter the sounds, moans, groan, groans, and then, after a few moments, Emily gripped Harry's head, throwing her her head back and squeaking. The sound of the, that she made was came out was adorable. Even Curry pulled back and smoked. Seems like you liked that, didn't you? She said, Emily then fell back, breathing heavily once more. After a brief minute or so, Curry held the desk, looking at Robert with his desperation. I need you to go faster, she confirmed. Robert did meet, did meet in advance, pushing in the hip, his hips in and out of her faster and faster. Who's in the mind when it comes to the cessation of all? After a few more thrusts, he then tensed up and played it like he did. Together, both of them moaned in ecstasy, and each and they each came. Robert entered himself into her, grasping at the tightness of her pussy while we were carrying out a small feeling of relief. Then she pulled away, smiling. That was pretty good, but shouldn't you have come inside me so you. So you you shouldn't have come inside me, so you're going to be punished, she said. Robert looked at her, and as he mentioned, for, when she mentioned the deck, he followed her, sitting on it. Then she pushed him down. Lay down, she said. Robert did his told, and then Craig looked at Emily. You good princess, he asked. Yes? Yeah? What? Just what? Just. That was like, wow. Never thought you'd go like the girl doing stuff, huh? The deck got you to the furthest sex. Good work with head. Just as it heads up. Just a heads up, Curry said with a wink. Immediately, Emily bashed, and the Curry brought her over where Robert was motioning for her to go towards the cot. See, it's hard again. Want you to come in? Right? It feels good, she said. Very bashed, she nodded. Get on his dick, you can ride it, make it come. And don't, you should be allowed to come when you make him come, she said. Emily seemed to touch a chance, and Robert watched as he moved towards his cot sitting on the edge of it and looking down. Okay, here we go, here I go, she said. 
She lowered herself, grimacing at the shock of the tightness of the heat. She seemed to enjoy it. Soon she was all the way down on it. For after a brief moment, she looked at Kerry and then nodded. Okay, then, now, why did him like a cowboy? She did, moving her hips up and down, and Robert felt like he'd been sucked completely into the tight heat. He moaned, feeling like he was losing his mind. A sensation he loved to view, but then he felt something above him. He looked, it was Kerry's pussy. Now that your punishment, if you need to get off, is to get me off of, off of your own mouth. That I'll tell you right now, the secret is a clit. You can manage that, right? She said. Robert knew there was a catch. That's had to come some kind of punishment. He pushed his tongue, a light touching of juices. He could smell the female scent combined with the scent of sex of all three of them. In a way, it's a toxic. And soon he started to lick her more and more. She shivered and pushed her arse down a little bit more. He was completely engulfed by a right pussy, completely immersed in all this. It was getting harder and harder just from this. Meanwhile, Emmy was having the time of life, running his cock and moaning. Carrie watched, smiling as she saw the young girl losing herself. She moved towards her, cupping her lips and then smiling. You want to play with you again? She looked at Carrie and then nodded. Carrie brought her hands up, pushing up them against her small press immediately. Emily moaned and moved her faster. A hand on her hands and moved towards Carrie's own. After a few moments, Carrie pulled her shirt down and her bra away. Bam, Emily to play with Carrie's huge, large melons. Carrie moaned, beckoning her hips a little bit. You got, you like big titties, don't you? She teased. Yeah, I wish I had big ones, Emily said. I would say, okay, you always want to tell your adorable, Carrie said. Two men kept following each other, and Robert felt like he was about to burst. Robert looked, Carrie looked down, seeing her tongue was complete, fucking overdrive, but his face was painted with need. You close, we? Yeah, he said with a muffle. Carrie pulled back, allowing him to see Emily. Good, now come beside her, she said. After a few brief seconds, he let her moan. Hands moved to a clip, but Carrie moved them away. She moved her own fingers with a facial deafness against Emily's clip. And it's then when Emily tensed up, moaning out loud, immediately arching her back, the two of them came the same moment that Carrie pushed her clip against Robert's face. As soon as he came, he worked furiously, trying to get his hardest to get her off. Then, after about five or so minutes, she tensed up, moaning out so loud, she let, as soon as she heard, came heart, as soon as, as soon as she she soon came hard against him. He tasted the juices and relished the taste of this. He saw Emmy move off his cot, falling down the desk and breathing hard. That was just like, wow, she said. Just like that, he said. She said, uh, yeah, I did a lot. That was unexpected, she said. Well, sometimes you need to expect the unexpected, my dear. Looked at Cap Robert Turner, looked at him and shot her. He's got grew, grew once more. He hadn't done yet, and Curry looked at him. Geez, you really do want more, don't you? I can't help it. Both of you are really hot, he said. She looked at Emily, who seemed for, for the cat challenge. Why didn't you get him off once? Long last time together, she offered. Emily nodded. The two girls moved towards his cock, kissing the edges of it. Robert immediately moaned at the sight. He never thought he would have two girls in his cock, but that was it. But here he was. He moaned at the sight, feeling he was like perfect profession personal spectator in this amazing event. He watched as Emery took the tip while Curry moved towards the base. It was then she noticed that Curry was up to something. And then she pulled away. She gripped his cock but looked at Emily. I'm going to do something. I want you to take the tip through. She ordered. Tim did just told them. Moving towards the tip with Curry it. Robert fell in immediate mode, but then he saw Kerry was right over the shark his dick with a large breast, pushing him to get together. She spat against the crevice of the crate at the bit of lubrication. Again, she began to move. Kerry moved back, marvelling at the sight of this, watching as Kerry moved, moved, worked to magic, joined the sight of it. Kerry's breast felt like heaven to Robert. Soon as she sat back, moaning, Fuck, I'm going to come. Already? I knew my birds were magic, but damn, she says. 
when we expect this magic to be so potent, he sat there, wanting nothing more than to come, and when he gripped the desk, um, Carrie pushed Emma closer. Emily closer, it came hard, Seaman sprang out of his cock, covering both of them in a bit, despite already covering twice before. He still had a lot. Both the women had his release against had, had his release against her faces. After she finished, they looked at each other. Kerry gave Emily a short patch of kiss that was hot to see, but also quick. Kerry then pulled back, looking at Robert with a smile on her face. Certainly enjoyed it, he, she said. She asked Emily. Yeah, I did. She thought, how about you, Robert? You still felt that you run a marathon, then some still feel nice. That was why, well. You did, You both did great, both of you. I wanted to give you a toe in the personal lessons, he said. Robert enjoyed it, that was sure. He looked at Emmy and he knew there were things they needed to talk about. They were, would get, do it again. They would do it later once they got dressed. For Emily, it was unreal. Robert was felt... I felt like he wanted to go through the right of passage. After all, they were fully dressed. Curry looked at them both smiling. You two have got the best students. You're great at chemistry. I couldn't help but put you to the little push you needed, she said with a smile. Well, you needed that, I was sure. Yeah, I'm glad that you did this, Emily said. Oh, same here. I'm pretty happy three of us managed to have a little bit of fun on our own, Curry said. Three of them looked at each other, one at each one smiling. Then Emily spoke, feeling the redness had come to face. I don't mind doing this again, if you guys want to, she said. Kerry and both looked at her once together, and then Kerry smiled. Of course, as long as you don't mess with your research, you two can, can always join meeting up, she said. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that, Robert said. Good, because I really like that, and I never got to do anything with a woman before now. I wanted to try a few things, and we admitted a face as red as a tomato. Kerry laughed at sight, touching her neck back. Well... That's what I'm here for, dear, he said. Robert felt his body start to race. And Emily enjoyed this as well. After three of them headed out of there, Robert went back to the lab. He grabbed her back he grabbed his backpack and then he but then he was about to leave Emily spoke. Say Robert, she whooped. Whipped his head around, looking at Emily with a perplexed glance. What's the matter? Well nothing, it's just it was fun and uh, I do have feelings you. I've been quiet about them for a while now. I, I wanted to know if you Maybe go out for a date or for some point. I didn't have to do anything huge, maybe a coffee or something, as you said. But what smiled at the mercy cam, and then he felt well, it probably took a dozen look out to admit that. Of course, he was going to help, have to help her carry for the most, most, for most of it, this as well. Of course, I don't mind that at all, he said. Great, but maybe some time, maybe, Friday, maybe, Friday boot will work. Let's make sure that this doesn't interfere with our studies, he said with a wink. Then blushed and then nodded. Okay, definitely do that, Robert. I had a lot of fun, she told him. I had fun too, he said, five. Two of them shared a final kiss with Robert. Robert headed out to the lab, going back to his dorms. The third whole afternoon been a whirlwind. He had sex for the first time with two college ladies. Got a girlfriend, and everything seemed to be going his way. He felt like some kind of, it was the kind of world. He was so happy to have Emily in his life like that. He wanted to ask Emily out for a long time, but there was, there was always a moment for this. The two of them were partners most of their years, and he saw her as a focal point. It was med school, med training, someone he thought of for a long time, someone more than just a friend. But now he's finally able to admit their feelings. In fact, they've got a different world. Robert loved this, and this has felt like it was the beginning of a journey, something you never make. Something a movie that was about in the beginning was bright, new future that made him happy, and one that was already. The tight in the next couple of weeks felt like well when Robert and Emily did start getting steady. We were in the first date with the beginning of this bright and amazing relationship. They had, t- they had a ton in common, more than expected, and Emily enjoyed his company, which were very best friends, but also felt they had a very intimate relationship as well. Of course, he didn't mean they ever needed her to keep. Of course, that meant they never wanted to see Carrie. They saw a lot. Whenever they could, and Kerry over, over, over welcomed them. She, she told them it was the first time she had sex for a long time that day. All, all she did at first, and then Robert was better. Her ex husband was most of the juice he slept with. Robert loved having Emily round since it meant something. She was still learning the ropes, and Kerry 
didn't have a lot of women, that was sure. Overall, it was the beginning of an interesting life in a very intense relationship. Robert didn't regret anything. His time in med school was different from then it was meant to. He didn't, really didn't complain because not a, not a, because not only did he have fun with it, but he also learned that definitely needs he definitely needs this break. Beginning of a new life and some new understandings as well.